Okay, we're going to be working on building a 3D cube today for our pendant. So just to get you an idea of what we're going to be making, it's going to be this design sample right here. So first thing we're going to do is we need to um, go over to our shape tool here and right click it and make sure we're on the polygon tool right here. So click that once and it's click and drag out to get a size that is reasonable. I'm going to go away about that. I'm going to hold down shift on my keyboard so it rotates it. And then I'm going to keep holding down shift and I'm going to release my mouse button, which will pop my cube up, uh, or sorry, my polygon up in the way I want it. So I'm just going to take the corner. Now you can see this little double arrow appears on the corner and I'm going to pull this way until it snaps to 90 degrees. And you can see it snaps to 90 right there and I'm going to release. Then I'm going to grab my selection tool. I'm just going to pull this piece down to about here. Okay. So the next thing we want to do is we want to make it look 3D. So uh, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. I'm going to hold down Alt on my keyboard and zoom in just uh, using my mouse scroll wheel. So hold down Alt and scroll in one. And then I'm going to click on the line segment tool. And I'm just going to go to the bottom here. Actually, I'm going to click off first, click out, grab the line segment tool. I'm going to hover over the anchor. It says anchor on the bottom. I'm going to pull up. I'm going to pull up until it says intersect. There. Now you'll notice it'll say intersect because it's intersecting with the other side over here, but we want the intersect to appear that has no um, purple connection on it. So that's the one we want right there. It just says intersect. I'm going to release. I'm going to go up to this corner. I'm going to pull down and I'm going to attach it there. Go up to this corner, pull down, and I'm going to attach it there. And then we have the beginning of our cube. Now what we want to do is we're going to click on the selection tool. I'm just going to click and drag around my cube. And we want to break this cube up into different pieces. Uh, so to do that, I uh, click on window and you go down to the Pathfinder tool, which is right here. So I'm gonna click that and you can see it pops it out. I actually have the Pathfinder tool right here on my side menu. And I'm just gonna click this button once called divide under Pathfinders. So click that once and that will split up your cube. Now you'll notice if I click on this side of the cube, um, it'll tell me my fill and my stroke. Currently, um, my fill is uh, transparent, so I want it to be black. So I'm going to double click on fill. I can drag it down to black here, and it's going to click OK. And sometimes it will just go to white here. I'm going to try one more time. And there we go. We have the side of our cube as black, which is perfect how we want it. Now, um, there's a couple different ways to do this next step. The easiest way I found uh, is we want to first of all duplicate this cube. You can see in here uh, that we need to create a larger cube. Uh, so to do that, I'm gonna back out and I'm gonna hold down Alt and use my mouse scroll wheel to back out. And I'm gonna use the direct selection tool to make sure I'm highlighting the entire cube. I'm gonna go up to uh, object, sorry, edit, and I'm going to copy it and then I'm going to paste in front right there. So now I have a cube inside the cube. Now I need to figure out um, how big I want this to be. I want it to be essentially double the size of my other cube. So I'm just going to grab this cube and pull it off to the side for a second. I'm going to hover over this cube and I'm going to click on transform and you can see right here uh, I'm 51 point something by 59 point something. So I'm going to make this easier. I'm going to make this 50 and I'm gonna make this 60 just to um, make it a bit easier to use. Now, if it's not doing that, um, you want to make sure that your constraint uh, is has this a line through it that will allow you to alter the dimensions on your cube. Okay, so I am uh, 50 width by 60 height. So I'm gonna multiply 50 by two, which is going to be 100, and then 60 by two, which is gonna be 120. So I'm going to grab my other cube over here, this uh, my second cube, and I'm going to change those to those numbers. So I'm going to go uh, 100, and this one's going to be 120. There we go. Now I'm just going to kind of drag this over. Now I'm kind of running out of room here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to back out a little bit, and I'm going to grab this piece here. I'm just going to kind of move it over and down. Now this larger piece on the top, I want to rotate it. So I'm going to grab the corner, I'm going to hold down shift, and I'm just going to rotate it that way. And I'm going to rotate it once more. 
I'm going to rotate it right to the top. So it sits about there. Uh, actually, I'm going to keep going this way. I'm going to rotate it over until it snaps about there. A um, little bit more this way. And now you can essentially see I'm going to be pulling this cube down on top of the cube on the bottom here. Um, in order for this to work correctly, we have to make sure using the direct selection tool that this part of the cube here is not transparent. It has to be white. So the fill, we want to change that to white by dragging up in the corner, clicking OK. This other part of the cube here, you can see it's, it's highlighting blue around that part of the cube. We also want that to be white. So we're going to click, make sure we're on the fill. We're going to click, double click it. We're going to go to white and we're going to make that white. Now those are both white here, white here, and black here. Now essentially all we're going to do is we're going to um, drag this, oops, uh, you want to make sure you're using the selection tool, not the direct selection tool. We're going to grab our entire cube here. We're going to pull it down on top of our cube like that. Now you can see this larger cube is sitting in front of the smaller cube. So I want to make sure I'm clicked on the larger cube. I'm going to right click it and there's an arrange icon and I'm going to send to back and that sends it all the way back behind it. And you can see we've got our basic design, which looks pretty close to the one we were working on. Uh, it's a bit big, so I'm going to highlight it and I'm just going to go to the corner down here. I'm going to hold down shift and I'm going to push in until I get it to a reasonable size and that looks a little bit better. Okay, um, one final thing. I want to add some customization into this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a simple line and I'm going to click about here. I'm going to drag it out, go to about here and I'm going to release and I'm going to do some lettering across there. So to do that, all I'm going to do is you can see below the pen tool, there is this type tool. So I'm going to right click it. I'm going to make sure I am on um, type on a path tool. This one right here, I'm going to click that once. And if I click on the path, oh, actually I'm going to click, I'm going to click off first. So click out, I'm going to click on this again, and I'm just going to hover over the, you see it says path. It says path when I hover over it. So I'm going to click once, and now I can type in whatever I want here. Um, if you want to change the size of this, um, you, on window, you have, should have a type tool and you click on character. You can see you can change, this is way too big. So I'm going to go to 48, maybe 48, and I'm going to type in construct. Oh, uh, it still needs to be smaller. So I'm going to go 18, highlight it again. Now my type tool should be under this A, I think it's this A tool here. Yeah, and I'm going to go to maybe 21. Still too small, 24. Okay, construction. Uh, I-O-N. Now the end's not showing, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this little white direct select tool, and you can see these little lines with these um, squares appear in it. If you grab a line and you pull it, you can actually pull your letters to the where you want them. Now this still doesn't look that great. We want this to stand up. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on type um, and type on the path. And we're going to try a skew. There we go. So again, that's type, type on a path, and the skew one. Um, type on a path options. There we go. That will pop up a little flop, pop up window here, and you can click preview to see what it's going to look like. Okay, that looks pretty good. Um, one final thing: you just as we did with the construction, you want to put your lines around the outside, these red lines, so the laser will cut it. Um, and of course, putting your hole in the center up here so you can actually have it as a pendant. Okay, thanks for watching.